Hey guys, today I'm working with a Whirlpool washer and electric dryer matching set and this uh, guy I've got going on a heavy load. We've got it fully loaded down with really heavy load of clothes. I always not overload it but load it to max capacity to go ahead and do my tests and then I film one for you guys to see. That way you know when you get it home, plug it in, everything's going to work great. That's how I like to spend my money, so that's how I like to list and sell my items. The washer gets a 28 point inspection, the dryer gets a 22 point inspection. I check everything electrically, mechanically, make sure everything runs perfect before it leaves my care. So you can see that it's agitating great, filled up, and we are in the washing portion now. So uh, I'll come back, let you hear it drain, then I'll show you that the spin cycle is nice and smooth, it sounds good. Then we'll move on to the dryer. All right guys, and we kicked over into that final spin. It's getting up to full speed. And I'm gonna lift the lid up and show you that it is in fact spinning nice and fast. You can see in here right now that it's nice and smooth. It's a pretty heavy load I put in there too, so. We'll go ahead and lift that up. Sounds like it's at its fastest point right now. There you can see, spinning nice and fast. Shuts it down, which tells you that lid switch is working. So we'll go ahead and let it finish spinning the water out of those clothes and I will show you the dryer. All right guys, now I've got those clothes moved over to the dryer. We're just gonna put it on time dry with high heat. Hit go. As you can see in here, it's nice smooth operation. It sounds great, it's not jumping all over the place and there's no weird noises. All things you check, you know, if you were standing here yourself trying it out, and I'm gonna show you that it is in fact heating like it's supposed to. So I've got my temperature gun right in between those two red dots. That's where you're gonna get a surface temperature measurement. See a little difference there between the top of the dryer and the floor. So we'll go ahead and open this up. See there's plenty of clothes. We'll shoot it right inside the heating element tube. Plenty of heat coming out of that guy there. We'll take a picture for the ad. So essentially coming out of that tube really hot air as you see there very hot then the inside of your dryer gets anywhere from about 95 up to 195 and that's what dries your clothes uh, how hot it gets depends on what you set it on here so if you've got delicates or something you want to go no heat tons of options here uh, super capacity plus on both of these so you can dry plenty and plenty of options for getting your stuff dry so there you have it. Now you know everything works great. Dryer heats like it's supposed to and everything works good. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Thanks, have a great day.